Welcome to Investigating the Universe, where we delve into critical issues affecting our world today. In this episode, we explore the alarming rise of the H5N1 virus, a potential new pandemic that could be 50 times more dangerous than COVID-19. The H5N1 virus, commonly known as bird flu, is a highly pathogenic avian influenza strain that has recently shown unsettling developments. Health organizations, including the World Health Organization, are on high alert due to its potential for human-to-human -human transmission. Although primarily found in birds, the virus has evolved, showing the capability to infect mammals such as cows. This adaptation raises the specter of a broader host range and a higher risk of spilling over into human populations. Recent incidents, including a reported case of a man contracting the virus from an infected dairy cow in the United States, have intensified these concerns. Coupled with a staggering 52% fatality rate in confirmed human cases since 2003, the threat level of H5N1 is hard to ignore. As we dive deeper, let's understand how H5N1 compares to pandemics of the past. What exactly is the H5N1 virus and why is it causing such concern? Often referred to as bird flu, H5N1 is a type of influenza virus that primarily affects birds but has made the jump to infect humans. This transition from avian to human infection is particularly alarming because of the virus's high mortality rate. The roots of H5N1 trace back to aquatic birds where it exists naturally. However, it can spread to domestic poultry and on rare occasions to humans. Direct contact with infected birds or environments contaminated with the virus is typically necessary for transmission to humans. This includes handling sick or dead birds or being in the vicinity of infected poultry markets. When H5N1 infects humans, it does not go unnoticed. The symptoms are severe and include fever, cough, sore throat, and muscle aches, which can escalate to more grave conditions such as pneumonia and acute respiratory distress. The World Health Organization reports a mortality rate of about 52% among confirmed cases, a stark figure that underscores the virus's lethality. Comparing H5N1's transmission to other viruses reveals some reassurances, but also significant warnings. Unlike the COVID-19 virus, which spreads easily between humans through respiratory droplets, H5N1 has not shown consistent human-to-human -human transmission. This limits its spread compared to respiratory viruses like the common flu or COVID-19. However, the real fear lies in the virus's potential for mutation. If H5N1 were to mutate in a way that allowed it to transmit easily between humans, the outcome could be catastrophic, echoing the deadly 1918 Spanish flu. The sporadic cases of H5N1 in humans have been linked to direct exposure to infected animals, which is currently the only known pathway for human infection. Yet, as we've seen with other viruses, the situation can evolve rapidly, emphasizing the need for vigilant monitoring and research. Now that we grasp what H5N1 is, let's compare it to historical pandemics to gauge its potential impact. History often provides context. How does H5N1 stack up against past pandemics? When we delve into the annals of infectious diseases, few events loom as large as the 1918 Spanish flu and the recent COVID-19 pandemic. Each offers unique insights into the potential trajectory of the current H5N1 threat. The 1918 Spanish flu caused by an H1N1 virus with avian origins similar to H5N1 swept across the globe in three devastating waves, infecting one third of the world's population and claiming at least 50 million lives. The mortality rate hovered around 2 to 3 percent, but the virus struck fast and hard, overwhelming health systems of the time. Fast forward to 2020 and the world faced COVID-19 caused by the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. Unlike the Spanish flu, COVID-19 brought modern global society to a standstill through widespread lockdowns and travel bans, affecting economies and daily life on an unprecedented scale. The mortality rate of COVID-19 is lower than that of the Spanish flu, estimated at around 1%, but the total number of deaths and the long-term societal impacts are profound and ongoing. Now let's consider H5N1. Since its first human case in 1997, H5N1 has maintained an alarmingly high mortality rate of about 52%, primarily affecting those who come into direct contact with infected birds. However, 
its spread among humans has been limited, with no evidence of sustained human-to-human -human transmission. This is a critical distinction from both the Spanish flu and COVID-19, which transmitted between humans with terrifying efficiency. The societal impact of H5N1 has been less than its pandemic predecessor so far, mainly due to its restricted transmission pathway. However, if the virus were to mutate and gain the ability to transmit between humans more easily, it could potentially rival or even exceed the catastrophic effects of the Spanish flu or COVID-19. Understanding these comparisons helps us prepare. But what can we actually do about H5N1? As the threat looms, knowing how to respond and prepare is crucial. The world is no stranger to the dangers of infectious diseases, and the H5N1 bird flu virus is no exception. With its high fatality rate and potential for widespread transmission, the development of effective countermeasures is a top priority for global health officials. Vaccination remains one of the most powerful tools in our arsenal. The rapid development and approval of vaccines specific to H5N1 are underway. Although mass production can take several months, having a vaccine ready is a critical step towards preventing a pandemic. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has already green-lighted vaccines for emergency use, reflecting the urgency of the situation. Public health advisories are also a significant part of the response. These advisories stress the importance of safety protocols when handling poultry and other animals known to carry the virus. For instance, ensuring that all bird and animal products are properly cooked is essential to avoid transmission. Moreover, the use of personal protective equipment and stringent hygiene practices in farms and meat processing facilities are strongly recommended. Surveillance plays a vital role as well. Monitoring the virus's spread among bird populations helps in early detection and containment, thus preventing it from reaching humans. This involves regular testing of bird populations and immediate culling of infected birds to halt the spread. Globally, efforts to contain the virus include stringent checks at borders and increased biosecurity measures at poultry farms. Countries are collaborating, sharing information and resources to tackle the threat collectively. This global vigilance is crucial in managing the spread of H5N1 and ensuring it does not escalate into a more severe crisis. Preparation is key but staying informed is just as critical. By understanding the preventive measures and responses to the H5N1 threat, we can better protect ourselves and our communities from this dangerous virus. In the face of a potential pandemic, awareness and preparedness are our best defenses. When communities are well informed about the risks and characteristics of the H5N1 virus, they're better equipped to follow health advisories and engage in behaviors that prevent the spread of the disease. Education plays a pivotal role, transforming fear into actionable knowledge. Understanding how to recognize symptoms and when to seek medical help can significantly alter the course of an outbreak. It's not just about individual safety, it's about community resilience. By staying informed, people can adhere to containment protocols more diligently and support public health efforts more robustly. Beyond borders, international cooperation is crucial. Viruses do not respect national boundaries, making global collaboration essential in tracking the spread, sharing information, and coordinating response strategies. When governments and health organizations work together, the capacity to manage health crises improves dramatically. Staying informed enables us to respond effectively, potentially saving millions of lives. As we've explored today, the H5N1 virus is a formidable threat but knowledge and preparation can make a difference. This virus, with its chilling echoes of the 1918 Spanish flu and a lethality surpassing that of COVID-19, has rightfully captured the attention of the global health community. In our journey through the complexities of H5N1, we have uncovered its potential to jump from animals to humans, a trait that significantly raises the stakes. The virus has shown a capacity to infect not just birds, but also mammals, including humans, which could lead to a broader spread if not meticulously monitored and contained. The historical context has revealed that pandemics of this nature are not just possible, they are a recurring challenge to humanity. The Spanish flu of the last century and the more recent COVID-19 pandemic teach us that viruses can change the course of history. 
It is crucial that we apply the lessons learned from past outbreaks to our current strategies. Preventive measures, such as rigorous health surveillance and the development of vaccines, are already underway. These efforts are vital, not just in curbing the spread of the virus, but also in maintaining public safety and economic stability. It is equally important that each of us remains vigilant. Simple actions like maintaining hygiene, supporting health advisories, and staying informed can significantly mitigate the risk. The role of awareness cannot be overstated. Understanding the nature of the threat we face empowers us to respond more effectively. It prepares us not just on a personal level, but also as a community. By staying informed, we ensure that fear does not overpower reason, and preparedness does not give way to panic. Thank you for joining us on Investigating the Universe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to spread awareness. Together, we can face any challenge that comes our way.